a lot of people feel that they have within them the basic elements of thought and originality. They believe if only they think about things, they can bring it out of their system. They believe that they inherit all kinds of information. If you only learn to tap the source, which is within people, that I do not believe. But look at creative drawings. You will find they're based upon existing structures in animals, insects, etc. You will find that all inventions pair off or take a little bit from one invention and add it to your invention. You'll find that all imagination is based on the serial development and collection of different forms. So imagination is essentially the accumulation of information related to what it is that you think you want. Always ask, what is the product for? And how is it to serve people? That is the key to making products better. And then ask the question, do I want to please other people or do I want a house to please my own needs? You can try it sometimes. You'd be surprised what you'd come up with if you don't cater to people, to other people's needs. If you want to please other people, do what they're used to. Have war, have depression, have ego. That's a sick society. If you want a successfully sick society, design it the way it is. You must educate people to anything you design that's different. And to the degree that you can successfully escape your society, you become isolated also. So the price of learning new things is sharing it with other people. If you fail to share it, you will lose contact with people. You'll develop better contact by sharing ideas.